Greetings. Happy new day. Um, real quick. Listen, um, my life really began to transform rapidly when I became um, adamant about starting my day on the high road. When I became adamant about having devotion time in the morning. Okay, no matter what was going on, you know, no matter how limited my time was, I, I experienced such uh, peace, such um, connection uh, when I'm in devotion time that, you know, I just couldn't go back to not doing that in the morning time. And so um, I always encourage people to take some time out in the morning doesn't matter what's happening take some time out in the morning now i know we have different schedules some of us are you know we work nighttime we may say i don't really have the morning time to do it well um whatever your morning is meaning whatever time that you uh wake up from us from your sleep from your rest that's the time that you spend you spend some time during that time calibrating it's like calibrating you're lining up, you're synchronizing, you know, you're equalizing. And it really does matter because we are vibrational beings, because we are energetic beings, it is very important for us to make sure we're vibration we're vibrant vibrating on a high frequency if we want to align with the circumstances, situations, and the material world that is of high frequency. We oftentimes find ourselves attracting the low vibratory people circumstances situations and material world because we haven't calibrated to a high frequency and it may be subtle it may be blatant you may feel like you done woke up on the wrong side of the bed <laughs> you may not feel that way but subtly you haven't aligned with the high frequency so you're not going to experience that in your world i i often um emphasize the fact that you can't just intellectually want a good day you have to vibrationally align with a good day. So, you know, and doing that is not, it, it, it can be, you know, affirmations help, especially when you really learn how to use affirmations and learn how to choose powerful uh, words and your, for your affirmations. Um, but for me, it takes, I'll tell you what it takes for me. <laughs> you know, it's not like, and when I say, I have time where I calibrate. It's not to say when I wake up, I'm just grumpy or mad or no, it's not that. It's that I'm going the extra mile to just make sure that I'm vibing at the highest frequency that I can in the moment. And so when I wake up, you know, I'm already immediately in my mind, uh, even with my mouth, I give thanks. I'm already in gratitude. All right, give thanks, most high. You know, I'm, I'm giving thanks for this day. It's a new day, another day to... Another day to experience God's way. You know, it's like I'd say that, you know, um, I ain't got to be all hype about it. I just say it. I've, I've created a habit of me saying something of sort as soon as I wake up before my feet hit the floor. And then I'll go. I choose the a tea. I, I have a tea that I choose that um, has uh, herbs in it that support the nervous system. It support the hormones. It support you know you raising your frequency in the physical body and you do that through supporting the nerves supporting your hormones uh supporting the digestive system uh is very great you had you start your day off well when you eliminate and so it's wonderful to be able to flush out and eliminate so you start your day where you've released the waste from yesterday or you release the waste out of your body and you can start the day with a clean you know even a clean physical system and then after i do that after i after i make my tea <clears throat> i uh create i make my um living water which is essentially just the alkaline water with chlorophyll or i may have spring water or i may have water that's activated with gemstones or something like that I'll uh, take that that tea and my water with me into my prayer room. And so now, uh, you know, I've activated the system so that I can release the waste from the physical body. Now, um, my plan is to release the waste from the spiritual body. 
and an emotional body when I go into my devotion space. And so I start with just sitting still, breathing, doing a breathing exercise maybe, and I'm calling a breathing exercise, but listen, it can be simple as taking some deep, slow, deep breaths in through the nose, holding it, and releasing it through the mouth. Relaxing my shoulder, relaxing any tension that I've picked up just from the day starting. You know, because sometimes we jump. I, I'm an, I'm a, I'm a. My lifestyle involves entrepreneurship. You know, I have a senior. I have responsibilities. I have all of these different things. So sometimes when we have all of those different things, we can immediately begin to go into okay, what does the day look like? What does my calendar look like? How many clients do I have? What is you know what day is it? What 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 I need to be doing? You know, all of that kind of stuff. We can immediately go into that. Even sometimes we've trained our mind to do it so much that we don't even consciously do it, but we start to pick up tension in our shoulders in our head and all these different type of things so when i go into my devotion space my goal is to totally lighten my heart totally release get clear totally relax open my heart open my mind so that i can align with the high frequency so now as i'm sipping on my tea and i'm sipping on my water waiting for my my uh digestive system to, to give me the clue that it's ready to eliminate <laughs> i go ahead and start you know doing the things i need so my so my spiritual body can be prepared to eliminate and so that's what happens when you do the breathing exercise once you start doing the breathing exercise you begin to activate this the um spiritual body i'm gonna park over here today um to to begin to release and so as I'm breathing, you know, any kind of doubt, fear, anxiety, error, thought, you know, any of that, those type of things begin to release, you know, um, no, no super dramatic release. Usually it's just, you know, you like, it feels like relaxation. It feels like release. It feels like letting go. It feels like being easy, you know, and then I follow spirit and what to do for the day. Currently I'm, I'm, I'm exploring a a book so uh after i feel relaxed i'll pick up that book start reading it that usually give me a word that's exciting and i go with that exciting word and then after i go with that exciting word that all of this is calibration all of this is raising the frequency all of this is raising the frequency is my sound good i just been talking um i should have asked that a little bit earlier but so now you know you're beginning to raise the frequency. I'm reading a good text. I'm drinking some live water. My body is ready to eliminate halfway through. My body give me that little clue like, oh, I'm ready. So I go, you know, and, and I don't know about y'all, but I'm being, uh, I mean, maybe it's TMI, but I feel like a whole new woman when I eliminate the physical body. I mean, through the, I mean, eliminate waste from the physical body. And so now you got that. So now, ooh, yeah, I'm really feeling good. I'm my body, you know, I'm starting to feel lighter. Oh, yes, you know. And so now I go back into the, you know, prayer room and I finish up. I always close out currently in this stage of life, in my in my stage of, 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 of my journey. I am closing out my devotion time with gratitude journaling. And so um, once I read, read my text or do a card pull or whatever I do, um, I close out my devotions with a gratitude scripting or gratitude journaling. And then that's it. And now, feeling good, feeling great, you know, energy high, feeling it's not, and it's not even like it's just you being reminded of your immortality. You're being reminded of your limitlessness. You're being reminded of the illusionary, uh, um, ten, um, um, the illusionary, um, the illusionary essence i don't know how else to say it of this world like it's a lot of illusions you know and sometimes our sense consciousness our mind our ego can have us caught up in a moment that is over literally in 60 seconds according to us <laughs> like don't get caught up like you know so it becomes hard for us to let go and it becomes um we we take on stuff and then we begin to carry that stuff throughout the day and while we're carrying it we're literally like little closed off balls of energy that's not allowing the potential and capacity 
that we have to be and it's 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 uh it's counterproductive it is um it stagnates you it um it creates delusion it um it's you know it's just so stifling and so you want to be able to you want to get yourself in a space energetically where you're able to flow and that's what your morning routine or what you do in the morning you know how you start your day really helps you do i know for a fact somebody listening in right now uh live or as the replay i know you have experience where you stay committed every day with your morning routine and your life started to shift your energy started to shift i know it and then when you fell off it started to shift again and that's just how it go and so i'm challenging on this full moon happy full moon by the way on this full moon i'm challenging you to um commit to your morning or 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 wake wake up routine commit to it because you deserve a better life you deserve that life consistently you deserve it like i want to see you i want to see you at your highest capacity i want to see you at your highest capacity you 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 and you <laughs> i want to see every i want to see all of you 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 i want to see you at your highest capacity and so one of those things that you're you it's a must like it's not a must you don't have to do it you know but i'm saying that to make your road a little easier commit to that space and time for yourself because listen now that school has started back for my son child uh i don't have the two hours i usually have in the morning i don't have that so i take what i have my body usually wake me up about 6 50 i finally get out of bed around 7 by the time i make my tea and my living water it's about 7 15 I get into the prayer room about 7.20. I leave my phone, my iPad, my everything out of the prayer room, especially when I have a short period of time. And I just use the time that I have. So from that time, I have about 30 minutes, 30, 40 minutes, depending on if he's moving fast or slow. <laughs> and so I use that time because that's what I have. And whatever time you have, if you have 15 minutes, if you set your intentions to raise your vibration to the highest level for that day, you're going to accomplish that. But you have to set your intentions. You have to put the effort in and you you have to commit, period. So that means your do not deserve button is off. That means, you know, you, everybody in the house know that that's your time, whatever it may be, you know, that's, that's just what it is. And I have done peace to start. I have, I have the, I have stayed on it uh consistently without fail for since um like july of 2021 and i'm t the the transformation that i've experienced at such a rapid rate is amazing so i know that that had something to do with it now it's other things that have something to do with it raising your frequency to a high raising your vibration to a high frequency early in the morning but also during the day protecting your energy uh indulging in conversations food uh uh drinks uh um activities that keep your frequency high so there are other changes that i did you know i began to i got back on my intermittent fasting so i began to not break my fast uh, until around two sometimes a little earlier um when i break my fast i began to juice more you know that's more live drinks high vibrations why do i say the live drinks because it has life force energy so i'm drinking life force energy i'm eating life force energy because what i'm eating i I'm, i do my best to cut out the processed foods and try to eat foods that are alive and if i do eat some foods that are cooked it's um super clean good foods that are cooked um and 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 bringing that down to a minimum um trying to get more live food as much as i can in the system um live lively and upful conversations not allowing people to call me um dumping their load on me and all of that kind of stuff you know um and you know managing just managing my emotions it's like you know you're you're intentionally 
staying on a high vibration and being aware so that you are not um, allowing things, people, and circumstances to break your flow. And if your mind is set on that, you're going to achieve it. You're going to achieve it. The other thing is, and I got to go because I, oh man, I meant to tell him to take these watermelons out. <laughs> I'm most heavy. Um, the other thing, and I'm, I'm going to hop out because I'm at the gym. Um, the last thing I'll say is I, I committed to and have become determined to see the good in God in everything. Everything. I'm looking for it. I'm expected. I'm looking for it. I'm affirming it. I'm speaking it. It's good and it, all is God. All is good. All is working out. That's my affirmation constantly, every day, all day, period. Do I still have times where I might be triggered or I might, you know, go into a place of a little fear and all of that? Absolutely. And the time period is becoming shorter and shorter. We down to about five to ten seconds. And then it's done. <laughs> you know, it's like, let it go. I tell myself, let it go, Yen. Let it go, Yen. Let it go. 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 I keep saying, let it go to my heart. I'll look down to my heart. I'll go, let it go, Yen. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Life is limitless, sis. This is an illusion of being entrapped. Uh, this is an illusion of entrapment right now. This is an illusion of limitation right now. This is an illusion of whatever. So I just start, you know, I talk to myself until that energy. Because listen, y'all, I got a big ego. You know what I'm saying? I don't have no problem with my ego. It 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 um it serves its purpose because I've raised it up to a divine level. So I give thanks for my ego. But uh, baby, it ain't always been raised up. So sometimes I gotta, I gotta hold, tell it, hold on, sis, hold on, sis. Do, ho, ho, you get, you, 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 you're digressing. <laughs> I have to tell myself, uh, uh-uh, uh, 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 let it go, sis, let it go. That's your problem. That ain't got nothing to do with them. That's your problem. You mad right now? That's your problem. You blow right now. That's your problem. You feel disrespected right now. That's your problem. That's your problem. Don't project that. Relax. You know so. Yeah, it's that time. I have to do that. I have to, ooh, hold on, sis. Mm, mm. I remember seeing a, a, a show on, um, what was that? One of them judges. Every time the the the, uh, cu- the couple who was her husband and uh, uh, who was her ex-husband, her husband and his mistress, who now is her wife. Anyway, the drama of it all. Uh, every time they would say something that made her mad, she would start singing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, it was hilarious, but that's kind of how when it hit me when i get that trigger when it be like who i feel that little tinge like yesterday i was talking to somebody and it was a it was a non-melanated individual who they usually have a sound word sound frequency that's bothersome you know what i'm saying i'll just put it like that um they was talking and it was ringing my ears and it could i could have took it as disrespect but the whole time she was talking, it was like an out-of-body experience. And I was saying to myself, wow, look at you. Look at you not taking it personally, how this lady talking to you. Because first of all, this lady don't know me. And it don't matter if she don't know me. She she already has her... Uh, uh, she she hear my voice. So she know I'm a, <laughs> I'm a melanated woman, child. Because I have a melanated woman voice and I'm not ashamed um and i'm not changing my voice to make you think anything i'm gonna talk to you like crystal you know what i'm saying um because i can very well talk to you uh with my degrees plural behind my name but i'm not because i don't have to um so but she was being you know just she was just being real free and confident as her non-melanated disrespectful self but I, you know, I was watching myself and I was so grateful that I didn't get triggered. Because in the past, I'd have got triggered. Like, oh, sus, I'm going to need for you to hold on. You know what I'm saying? And I'd have started, you know, breaking down, letting her know who she's talking to kind of thing. I'm not doing that. I don't need to do that. Peace is, I don't need to do it. I have no need to do it. You know what I'm saying? There was never a time, well, I won't say never. There's hardly a time where I'm feeling peaceful, powerful, and joyous and have to label my, I mean, and have to spew out my degrees. So I'm not going to do that because my my uh, commitment is to my peace, power, and joy. 
And so I'm not going to say anything, do anything or anything if it's not from a place of peace, power, and joy, period. That's my commitment. So as she talk how she talk and feel confident and amazing, I said she must feel amazing about herself, the way she can talk to people. Huh. Good for you, sis. You know, and so I just talked out, talked, said what I said, did what I did. And it's interesting because she simmered. I said, I asked some questions and she realized that she sounded ridiculous. She was like, you know, she even said out loud of her mouth. Oh, I don't know why I said that. That's just something I always say. I said, oh. <laughs> Silly you. You know, like, huh. okay, I'm not about to let you knock me off my square. Like, come on. But anyway, so, but I, I just gave thanks. Because there was a time that would have bothered me, to triggered me. But at that time... It's because I wasn't vibing on a high frequency. I was feeling insecure. I might have felt insecure, you know, having to project my have Got to get validated. I ain't got to get validated by nobody. So when you understand what you are, validation from people, please. Why? How? What do you mean? For people? People? <laughs> I'm supposed to be in the jail. People? I'm doing it like, you know how Soldier Boy was like, what is it all? Drake? People? Validated from people? Come on. I don't care who the people is. I don't care who it is. <laughs> Mama, daddy, sister, brother, cousin, wife, husband, brother. It don't. Validation from people. You got to get to know who you are. You got to know what you are so you can stay on your high frequency. Maybe that's why we don't stay on our high frequency because we don't really realize what we are. You know what I'm saying? When you do that, you come with that inner peace where you ain't got to worry about nobody. So anyway, I don't, I don't got off. And let me, let me got off in a tangent. Let me stop. Bring it in. Bring it in. The purpose of this video was to talk about the benefit, the importance, the significance of how you start your day. Start your day on a high frequency and make sure you commit to staying there. Anytime your vibration low, that was your choice. And remember that. And so because that was your choice to allow your frequency to drop and to allow yourself to lower down. And that's not even a, a, a hit at whatever or whoever you lower down to. It's a If you want to take any hits, I mean, if you want to give it, say about, I mean, uh, judge hits, then that hit is to you. You chose to do that. So because you chose to, lo to allow yourself to be lowered, choose to raise it back up fast, quick like quick quickly quickly sometimes that takes you your welcome source sometimes that take you to walk away sometimes that take you to just cut the conversation sometimes that take you to go back and go back to sleep and wake back up the next day sometimes that take you whatever it takes because you chose to let your vibration low you choose to bring it back up you always have that choice isn't that amazing how privileged we are how privileged we are ashe all right so Listen, if you have, if you have, um, you know, difficulty, um, really achieving the kind of space you energetic, energetic space you want to be in, you really have been trying and you found some difficulty doing it. Consider coaching, consider coaching. Um, I do offer personal coaching, um, and it helps, it helps because it helps you. You can, you can get help creating your uh, routine. You can get help with uh, learning how to affirm, how to how to affirm powerfully. You can get help with how to pray, how to meditate, what to do. You know all of these different things. We weren't just taught these things, really. You know what I mean? This came the natural, you know, intuitive knowledge of these things came with some intellectual study as well as some sitting with spirit and being revealed how do how do I tap in you know what is it that's keeping me from tapping in you know that took some time some effort and coaching sometimes is very helpful um additionally when you do your coaching you know it's also that accountability piece because uh you know I love you and I'm and I'm very you know gentle and loving but I'm also firm be, and I'm going to hold you accountable. And I'm going to push you. And I'm going to say, well, no, that was you. No, but I mean, uh-uh, uh-uh. No, no, no. Nah, come on now. That was you. What you saying is my fault? Yeah, I am. So let's let's just start there. 
now let's because it ain't about thought and all that kind of stuff but if you want to put it there we can put it there and then we'll 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 slowly but surely unravel that so you can let that go even that go you know because sometimes that those those barriers and stuff are subtle you don't really know what it is why it's happening like that why you can't quite fight um resist that trigger why you can't quite bring your vibration up why you can't you know you sometimes it's it's uh it's uh it, it's hard for you so consider personal coaching it's very powerful if you want to learn more about personal coaching the link in my bio offers us a, a, um a special uh, offer for first-time clients also if you're a returning client shout out to y'all peace and love to my clients y'all so beautiful i love y'all man i love my life i love my i love my career and i love my passion I love you god <laughs> but uh <laughs> but yeah if you want to check out that coaching look at the link in bio all right look at the link in bio uh sis said my impromptu coaching was gentle and well spoken thank you sis oh so much love seeing you sis i was grateful to see you couldn't it be the full moon affecting people and they don't know it absolutely sis absolutely i had that conversation like four times yesterday and had to let people know it hey i deal with it too you know it's like it's a full i was just telling myself girl it's a full moon honey go ahead and cry them tears and keep on moving because it's definitely the full moon but that helps to know you know and being aware you know so building that awareness is very important too with keeping your vibration high because because so many people don't know about cosmic activity and they don't believe in energy they don't believe <laughs> That's just hilarious. Not it ain't even hilarious. It's sad. I shouldn't laugh. That's not funny. But they don't believe energy. Like what is that? <laughs> oh, never mind. You know. Um, but yeah, they don't believe in what's happening above. Like nothing is happening above. There's a lot happening above. <laughs> you know. They don't know about. <laughs> Let me. See. Okay, it's time to go. I can't because I don't want to seem condescending, but. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Because I feel like I'm being condescending. I'm really not. I'm genuinely not. I understand. I understand. I come from a staunch Christian background that that see us even paying attention to the moon as witchcraft. So, you know, it's like, I get it. I get why you may not understand energy. You may not believe in it. You may not. I get it. So, but the reality is it's real and it's affecting us all the time and when you know about it you can live intentionally and you can now start to elevate yourself and flow you know with the energetic current that's happening in life you know a lot of people don't even know that like the race consciousness or like the the consciousness of the whole like right now i'm sitting in planet fitness parking lot we got it's probably like oh, i'm looking at the cars out here you probably got like mm, 60 to 70 people in there I, that might be on the high, but 60 to 70 people in there might be. When I go in there, there's a race consciousness. And not only in there, but in the world. And trust and believe because of this society, it's kind of low. It's kind of low. And so you, if you don't even know you're dealing with that, then now you still keeping yourself vulnerable to come under what people call mind attacks or you know and so you're wondering why why i can't shake the doubt why i can't shake the anxiety why i can't shake the fear it might be that person you're sleeping with it might be that job that you have you know because some jobs come with very low frequency thinkers very low frequency uh just the whole job is set upon low frequency like the sick house what i call the sick house or the hospitals they have a very low frequency in there. And so when you start working there, you got to be careful because the frequency is super low. Uh, you know, the belief in death, the belief in sickness, the belief in, you know, all of that is a, a consciousness. And you may see the physical of it happening in your face, but it is the physical started to happen because of what was happening spiritually and mentally in all of the people and the persons in there. And so when you got that, anyway, that's a whole topic since I could go on forever and ever with that. Um, and it is, uh, it is, is deep and that happens in a lot of jobs and a lot of people are carrying those frequencies. So let us keep our vibrations high. 
Uh, it's been fun with y'all. Y'all making me not want to go in, but I got to go. So um, peace and love to y'all. Happy full moon. Hope to see y'all on the full moon call tomorrow. It's going to be lit. It always is. If you're not tuning in to the meditations on the new moon and the full moon, why? Why are you not doing that? It's $11.11, so it ain't financial. If you ain't got $11.11, you need to book a whole coaching session. So forget the $11.11. Save up and get you a personal coaching session so we can get you together. Because that's, come on, you know, $11.11. Tune in. It's powerful meditation, a powerful journal journaling um exercise we vibe out you get you know we talk about the cosmic energy you know i the my style is very practical very you know my whole goal is to take the spook out of spirituality so you can truly understand how to work with energy and all those different things all that happens on the meditation call because it's always a vibe and it's always because it's time to come together and do what we do you know i allow the space for it to do what it do all right. Peace and love, y'all. Uh, so much love to y'all. So much love to y'all. Good. I can't wait to see you. Thank you. I received those full moon uh, <clears throat> blessings. Last full moon of this season. Eight, right? Um, I don't know that off the top of my head, but maybe. If it is, that's that's lit. But it's a lot, lot, it's a lot happening with this full moon that I'll be talking about tomorrow on the call. All right. Peace and love, y'all. Enjoy the rest of your day.